that's why we should always uh, strive if we don't already have to find something that we are passionate about that to find something that makes life worth living hi welcome back to another video in which i'm gonna tell you three biggest lessons from paulo coelho's novel the fifth mountain and that's one of his most famous novels of course after the alchemist but uh, of course one novel that had really really huge impact on me and novel that uh, i really enjoyed reading and it was uh, so compelling so easy to read and of course i was really uh, learning a lot uh, with every page and i learned a lot from the whole novel from the whole book and it has that I would say Coelho's a note uh, in which uh, he uh, creates a story about uh, religion, about Christianity and uh, just as it was in The Alchemist uh, he uh, gave here uh, some uh, base uh, of Christianity and uh, those concepts uh, of Christianity uh, combined with of course some, some biggest life rules so uh, if you want to read the whole uh, summary of this novel is gonna be linked uh, down in the description in a blog post but right now I'm gonna give you three biggest lessons from uh, this novel of course uh, that's novel here I read it uh, in creation but of course here those lessons are uh, like universal for and it, they can be translated and understood in any language in the language of the world so uh, let's start right away the first lesson is that God can do anything either good or bad and all of that it's part is part of his plan so when something bad happens to us just as it happened to Saint Ilya uh, in the fifth mountain uh, we think that uh, God doesn't love us that God left us uh, we are now like at the at the end of the world it's chaos but actually uh, what we have to do what we should do is trust the process, believe in God in every single moment, believe in life, believe in our goals, believe in the journey and we have to trust that all those bad moments are actually uh, preparing us for something uh, much bigger and much better and as uh, one quote says, every rejection is God's protection so everything that uh, it doesn't get in our, our way it actually means that God is preparing something better for us and that's really a hard thing, hard thing to, to, to understand actually because uh, most of the times we want everything to go our way but actually when you let things flow uh, and you let the God do the work on the outside you're actually gonna get much more better results and I, I have experienced that so many times uh, especially recently and since then uh, I try to more uh, give uh, like responsibility to God and just let things be as it, as they should be and it works out the best way possible even better than I could have imagined second lesson is one lesson that is really evergreen uh, it says that we can't ex escape from inevitable and it will never be as it was so uh, especially now uh, after this pandemic uh, COVID happened uh, we, we could hear a lot of people saying oh I just can't wait uh, until it all gets back uh, as it was uh, before Covid I can, can't wait to get to, back to the normal but actually it will never be as it was it will never be as it was sometimes as it was normal because people have worked so hard uh, to, to change something people have worked so hard in order to make it be different and be better because uh, it shouldn't be actually as it was uh, we were working so hard we were changing and we are changing every day and that's why we should work and we should hope for better future for di for different future because it could always be better than yesterday and if something changes it will probably be better better but if nothing changes if always stays as it was nothing will change and we won't grow we won't improve so that's why we shouldn't hope for getting back to normal uh, wishing that everything is as it was uh, but we should be more focused on working and creating that better, fu better future and that's actually combined to the third lesson that says that a man should choose and create and not accept his faith so 
we as humans we should create our faith. We should choose some and make some decisions that are going to lead us into better faith. Because uh, before making every decision, we are staying we are staying on some path that has two that is uh, separating into into two paths. And if we take this path, maybe this path this path is path of least resist resistance. It's easier path. It's gonna lead us in some uh, some uh, really different direction. But if we choose this harder way, it could be much more better. But if you choose this path, you don't ever have a possibility to even think of and to see what this path could have looked like. So if you choose this path, it's just going that way, and it always goes in that direction. Of course, you can maybe. You, with every decision you have chance to get back to to better uh, future with every decision you're choosing uh, this direction or this direction if you're gonna go harder way or if you're gonna go easier way if you're gonna go harder way and more uh, the way with more effort with more uh, struggles it's gonna be the way where you're gonna learn more and where you're gonna improve and grow more and for me personally I think it's better to always choose that way because you're gonna grow only with your struggles. And now I have one more additional fourth lesson from this uh, Paulo Coelho's fifth mountain and it says that uh, sadness doesn't stay in our mind and body forever. If we are heading towards something we should have always uh, went and we should have and wa wanted always go to. So sadness doesn't stay in our body if we are heading to something to somewhere that we always wanted to. If we are chasing some dream, if we are working on something that we are really passionate about, if we are doing uh, every day something we are enjoying and that we love doing, then uh, there, there's no place for sadness, there's no space, there's no time for sadness, depression, for all those negative uh, emotions and uh, states of mind and body. And that's what I really believe and that something I have experienced so many times on my own that because when I am truly focused on my work, on my everyday life, uh, on just uh, when uh, there's uh, one task after another, I don't have time to really think about anything else. I'm just, uh, I accomplish this and then I go here, I accomplish that, I do good training, I do some work. It's, it's always something happening and you don't have time to, to be sad, to, to think about something or what if. You just work and you just it just flows uh, with with uh, with life and that's why we should always uh, strive if we don't already have to find something that we are passionate about that to find something uh, that's worth living that makes life worth living and when you find that uh, you will you will enjoy life much more and you will enjoy every day you will be looking forward to to getting to work every day so those are those are four actually biggest lessons from Paulo Coelho's Fifth Mountain. Uh, as I said, it's, it's a novel that really uh, had huge lessons for me. These are only some of the lessons. I'm gonna list all of these, all of those lessons uh, I've got from this uh, novel in the blog post uh, where I'm gonna make a summary as well. So uh, check that out on the link in the description. And uh, I hope this was helpful. Of course, I recommend you to read this novel uh, on yourself because you're gonna learn a lot and thank you for watching I'll see you in the next video